There's a one out front, because if I put another number out there, it freaks things out a little bit. When there's a one out front, the whole problem reduces to what the freak numbers are those. <laughs> and how do you get those numbers? Like that. Yes. Right? So I get positive 6 so that's back and positive 2. Because 6x <laughs> plus 2x is 8x, and 6 times 2 is 12. Mm -hmm. And when I put x and x down, I'm guaranteed my x squared, right? Mm -hmm. So it boils down to <coughs> fill in the blanks. Mm -hmm. What numbers work, right? Okay. And, and real quick, <coughs> I, I told you I would do this. That problem is done. Mm -hmm. All my markers are dying. Yes. Markers committing suicide. I know you guys are like, that's a sign we must go, Jeff, but hold. Uh, little side work. I got all kinds of side shit here. Side work. You guys might remember this from the other day. What is x squared plus 8x plus 12? It's some number. In fact, how many numbers does that represent? An infinite number. So if x was, uh, I don't know, 3, what number is this? 3 squared is 9. nine. nine. 8 times 3? 24. Plus 12. What's that? 45. What's this? 3 plus, I let x be 3, didn't I? Yeah. And we said that that is how you factor this. So 3 plus 6 is 9. And 3 plus 2 is? And then isn't 45 9 times 5? Yeah. So when you factor this, you are factoring really, truly, you're factoring a number. Do you know what that number is? No. That's why it's hard. <laughs> because you're factoring a number, you don't even know what the hell it is. OK? Let's do a couple more here. You guys are all getting really antsy. <laughs> This is 5-5? Five, five. Uh, yes, 5-5. <coughs> uh, let's see. Um, I forgot what I was going to do. Let's see. Oh, yeah. It's kind of related to what we just did. It's the same thing. <coughs> same thing, right? Mm -hmm. Five, nine, yeah. Whenever I have a one out front, what can I automatically? What can I automatically put here? Yes. That's covered, right? If I had a six out there, that's a harder problem. That's the next thing we're going to do, because it could be two and three, or it could be three and two, or it could be six and one. Or else, oh, it's a positive five and a negative nine. Uh -huh. Careful. Uh, well, yeah, that's right. But how did you get there? I mean, forty-five is kind of nice because there's not too many ways to factor that. Bad. <coughs> the addition, you need a negative four. So I need things that are forty-five. Five and Multiply by 45, 5 and, and 9. Just, and then. And then he has to. Nine nine has to get yelling at you guys. Minus 9 plus 5. The really nice thing is, yeah. I know they're going to be opposite signs, yeah. right? Because it's negative 45, they have to multiply to be. Yeah. The middle term tells me the sign of the bigger one. Yeah. You guys see why? Because when I add those two together, the only thing that can come on negative is if the bigger one is negative. Yeah. So people look at all these signs as being extra crap to worry about. When I try to teach you guys, they're actually telling you what the hell to do with those numbers. This bigger one must be negative, like you said. Yeah. Minus so nine. x positive 5, okay. minus x four. minus 9, yeah. double. Yeah. Right. And if you let x be something, you can do the same thing we did over there. Oh. Double check it. Right. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, let me give you one to try on your own, and then I might do a little bit with, I know some of you guys are like, but too bad. Make math. I'll do a little bit with <laughs> make math two math. out of one. Make, yeah. make so math jokes. Something, yeah. something. So you guys try this one out. I'm not going to say anything. Hard uh, stuff. Tell me something. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Big square. Don't say anything out loud. No, no, no. Yeah, it's mean. <laughs> Gosh. Did you guys get there? Yes, yeah. Because 80's got a lot of different ways to factor, but one thing I always like to tell people is, I know the signs are going to be the same on here, right? Yeah. Because if it's positive, they either have to both be positive or both negative to multiply to positive. Cool? 
So I can actually do this. What adds to be 18 first? 10 and 8. 10 and, 8. and of course, multiply by 8, 10 and 8. Yeah. So <coughs> that's an X. And they both have to be what? Minus 10 minus 8. 8. 8. 8. 8. 8. 8. All right, so those problems, when there's a one out front, that is actually almost a thank God problem. It's, it's all about factoring this and making sure it adds to be this. Right. <coughs> so let's talk a little bit about, I can almost feel you guys going, no. No. Um, no. <laughs> what would happen if there was a number out front? Yes, Albert Einstein. Factor. You gotta factor that out. Here's the first kind of problem I want to show you. If there's a number out front that's not one, and in fact you should always do this. You always try GCF first. So what could come out? Well, three. Three times four. Three X. And work on the middle. And then now this is easier. There's a one now. So what the numbers multiply by four and add to be four? Come on now. Multiply by four and add to be four. Two and two. And they both have to be. That's an easy one. Because that three came out. Yeah. What if that number that's in front doesn't come out? Let's do one that's nice enough. Nice enough. I like that one. Ugly is not nice, sir. Can anything come? Anything come out of there? No. Two, two, one, no. Oh. no, be careful then. Here's what you got. Oh, where have you been? <laughs> All right. Uh, here's what you got to do. And I, I really want you guys to understand this. So uh, I hope you're cool with this little side note stuff because we got to get a feel for where this might come from to give me a clue as to what to do with it. So, in order to make something that's got a number out front that's not one, don't I have to have something like. Uh, Right, wouldn't that have a number that's not one in front? Mm -hmm. So this would be 8x squared plus 12x minus 2x minus 3. Is the middle term still the sum of these two? Is the middle term still yeah. the sum of these two? Oh, no. No. Why not? Because the first numbers messed me up, didn't they? Stupid numbers. Don't they multiply Stupid by one. the stuff that's there and mess me up? Do you guys see that? It's not 3, negative 1. It's 12 and negative 2, isn't it? Right? So how do you take care of that going the other way? Well, you say, okay, I'm going to take you into account. I'm not going to find factors of negative 10 to make 11. I'm going to find factors of negative 60. Take that into account. Because, again, what happened here? Why did it mess me up? Because they multiplied by the stuff that was there. So how do I work backwards? I multiply to see what the real number is I'm working with. Yeah. Watch this. <laughs> um, let me see, where was it? Where? Oh, oh, I'm going to show you that. Um, so what factors, and here, this is a good problem by itself. What factors in negative 60 make negative 11? Uh, so here's how I would do this. I really want you guys to see this. Whenever you were taught this, didn't you always start making a factor list here? Yeah. No. Oh my no. God, we're running late. Right? Yeah. Then you always make a factor list here. Mm -hmm. What do you need these two numbers to do? They need to multiply to be 60. negative 60 and add to be 11. negative 11. And they have to be different signs, don't they? Yes. Yeah. Ain't no reason in the world why you can't make them do this first and then check to see if they do that. Because what do we normally do? We normally do this. Okay, that makes that happen. Does it make that happen? No, it makes four, negative four, no. Right? Well, why don't I do this instead? Why don't I say, like, eight and negative 19? Doesn't that make negative 11? Yeah. Does it multiply to be 60? No. No, it multiplies to be, I think, negative 152. Too big, right? So go down this a notch here. What's six and negative 17? Doesn't that make negative 11? But does that multiply to be 60? No. No, 102, I think, something. So what about 4 and negative 15? Doesn't that make negative 11? Yeah. Yeah. It's a hell of a lot easier to make two numbers add to be something yeah. and then just multiply the damn things. And what's 4 times negative 15? 60. Yeah. Now here's... Oh yeah, Mario. You can't just jump to the answer now. You take those two numbers that we got and you break this up. Let me put you on pause, please. Well, that's probably stopped by now, right? No, yeah. it's still going. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Six. 
Do you guys see what I did? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Have you guys ever seen this method before? Yes. Yeah. 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 Not really. If you've had me, you've seen it. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> but the nice thing with this is, is that true? 4x minus 15x yeah. is negative yes. 11x. Yeah. But what can I do with this now? I can group it. And grouping is relatively easy. So I took this ugly ass <coughs> three term dude and I made it into an easy ass four term dude. Because now I just say what comes out of those two? 2x. Two 2x two left with x. There's plus two. Minus what comes out of those? Five. 3x plus two. 3x plus 2. Plus two. All right. Practice test. So obviously, obviously, we'll do more of that one next time. Sorry I ran you guys way over. Is that, oh, Pat says it's okay, so we'll do that from now on. That's why I said, that's why I said if we can hear you. I said, can we put you on pause, please? Thank you. Yeah, that's why I didn't know. I'm not just you guys show up all at once. <laughs> That's why I said without your hair message, can we put you on pause, please? <laughs> Make sure you get two sides on these. My printer, you know, likes to mess with me. Do we have an answer key for this? Next time. You said two sides, right? Two sides. Can I have one side? Yes. Well, how's gun will travel? I'm the gun and I'm trapped. Oh. Damn it. Gotta get this ready. Yeah. Cut that off. I don't think it'll be that difficult to be honest with you. I consider it. Oh yeah, I still have a bunch of those to bring. 